Welcome everyone to a brand new game, and not even that, a brand new series in my entire channel uh, that I have never actually done at all, which is why it's a brand new series, of course. What, a, what an intro, right? Um, yeah, because when I say brand new, I'm not talking about, oh, it's a new, like it's a new series that has just started in the, you know, the video game industry. No, no. I just mean in my channel, because I have never actually done a Let's Play of this series, Star Fox. Now, funny enough, I'm starting with a, um... A game that is actually not very iconic in the series in terms of what this series is famous for which is basically Arwing you know gaming and shooting and whatever you know um, there are a few components of that into this game but for the most part uh, this game is actually very different very very different than what you would consider a normal Star Fox game in case you don't know you know in case you're one of like five people in the world who doesn't know uh, this series is actually a um, uh, part of Nintendo as a first party series Star Fox uh, starting with Star Fox for the NES and then uh, Star Fox 2 for the NES Star Fox 64 for the N64 of course uh, the GameCube actually saw two releases in uh, both Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault and then Star Fox Command came out in the DS and then I don't even know screen ratio normal wide I don't think I want well do I want I mean I know see the reason why I can't do that is because I'm actually for whatever reason not doing com component because component is actually not working properly and I don't know why um, so I actually am forced to just play this um, compositely but it still isn't bad I'm actually gonna go ahead you know what um, I'll leave the rumble for Alan for now I'm actually not sure if I need to um oh no screw that let's just start the game language i mean so obviously what the heck subtitles on okay man i thought it had like korean i was gonna pick korean if it did but it didn't um all right so zero percent on all three let's just do empty slot let's go ahead and do um what should i do here what should i do i'm gonna do s that's dumb no i'm gonna do d s Z for Delta Shiny Zeta, of course, my YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, I'm pretty excited for this. I really am. Um, funny enough, I actually haven't done a a GameCube or Wii title in so long because it had actually been like forever since I got my Wii ready, you know, and started to record again. But I want to do this game and then XD Gale of Darkness, um, Star Fox Assault. Obviously, I'm still doing Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's on the side as well. DS games are harder to record. I'm gonna shut up because there's actually voice acting here. Okay, and just right off the bat, we actually get started with, um, okay, what do I have to do here? Oh, shoot, okay. Um, I don't think you can actually die in this part. Oh my god, it's inverted. Holy crap, this is crazy. Oh my, what the hell is this? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, whatever. Um, can I, like, shoot fast? I, I actually technically can't. Anyway, what you want to do here, uh, I'm getting bombarded, but what you want to do is, uh, basically flame both of those, hit them enough, and then you want to come down here. And essentially just keep shooting and shooting until you can get them all and break them all. Um, I'm gonna get hit. God damn it. Oh well. And once they're all broken, then alright, now we're gonna go ahead and go back up and move on to phase, technically phase 3 by this point. These things are regenerate, I guess. And, oh my freaking... Yeah, no, th th this inverteness is what's messing me up with my flying right now. I'm not used to it. Let's see, if I go... Oh crap, that's not gonna be good for the Arwing then. Damn it. Like, back in the N64 days, you know, Inverted was a, uh, obviously an amazing thing. But, not anymore. 
Most games actually don't really have it. And yes, at that point I actually was used to... Oh, what the heck? I already beat him? That was fast. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, this character here, uh, her name is Crystal. This is actually the game where Crystal debuted in the Star Fox series. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be able to just see a little bit about her, you know? Alright, so now we get introduced to some uh, moving around. Your adventure begins! Use a uh, control stick to move around, press L to center the camera behind Crystal, so kind of like Zelda. Alright, so I gotta find the source of the voice. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be, uh, oh my god, the rain is so strong and it's so freaking dark. Oh god, man, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, um, and like, completely. I think it was actually a few years before I started my YouTube channel when I last played the game, which has honestly been a long time. When the A appears, you press the, okay. So just press A to talk to stuff and people and dinosaurs and, you know? Yes, dinosaurs, I'm not kidding you. This game is full of dinosaurs. Okay, so by talking to this, um, I think it's actually a, uh, what is it called? A uh, cloud... Uh, cloud runner? I think it's a cloud runner tribe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's actually different tribes in this game, and it's really cool. Oh my god, okay, these... <laughs> oh my god, should I even start with this? That little, like, yay animation that she just did when I picked up something, we're going to be seeing that a lot. That is, of course, if I don't skip a bunch of shit throughout this game. Um, this, uh, god. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get started on that right now. I mean, overall, I love this game. I do. I, I do know that it does have a few points where it's like, what the heck? They're just, like, huge WTF moments and completely ridiculous. Um... So, yeah. Kill Cloud on a cat, more yori oi. Kill Ola, General. <laughs> Moak. A umdek ulak. A hiko ilo kio, mudu tadijwi kialo. Kiok. Ash nio amit hiko kutsash kudok nakivu. Ikia nacho. Kio vik ok nuj koke va wika wok mo. General <laughs> Arrive at Kuzo Palace. Okay, so one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that, you know, these characters are actually talking uh, gibberish to us, you know? Uh, that's because that's actually a dinosaur language. Um, in this game, there is, in fact, a different language. And, um, because of that different language... What the heck? Oh, I need a key, huh? I see. I got it. I got it, though. Let's use it. Uh, yeah, so because of that language, a certain, I guess, characters, um will, like to us, we don't know what the heck they're talking about, but luckily they actually use the, um, like a translator for us, I guess, technically speaking. Okay, here's another, that yay animation again. You're gonna be seeing that so often, so often, and it's kind of, it's it's really hilarious, it really is, you know? 
Anyway, these little eggs here, the Pug Pug eggs, they actually heal you for some health. I believe each one heals you one heart. So that's, uh, oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Um, do these respawn? Yeah, by the way, you can actually roll with X. Uh, there's actually no more here. What the hell? Oh, there's more over here. Fuel barrel generator. Okay, so these... Um, these respawn. Okay. You need to get... That. If you get hit, I believe you're dropping, so you gotta be very careful. Um, I, I can actually just skip past these guys and just come over here. I, I, no. Well, I killed it. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh, jeez. Uh, I will mention, though, that um, if you actually just hold the A button when you're picking up something... I'm about to die. I'm seriously about to die right now. I need to utilize the L button more. Can you get the fuck out of the way? Dude, you're so annoying. Move. Okay. Let's go, because I think they respawn. I'm pretty sure these enemies respawn. Like, um, d don't crash on stuff. Okay. All you gotta do is come over here. Throw this. And there we go. Oh, crap. I'm already, like, taking so much damage. Okay, let's break the stuff to get some... St oh, heck yeah. Look at look at those eggs, man. Now I'm back to pretty much full health here. Close to full health. Um, yeah, so again, if all of this is not making any sense, and you're like, what the heck? Why is this a Star Fox game? I don't see Fox or anyone. You'll see that shortly. What the hell? There's nothing over there. Okay, fine. I think I need to come to the right burst. Wait, where did, where did I come from? I'm so dumb. Okay, I have to go here first. Yeah, by the way, all those um dinosaurs that are injured there, um, I mean, well, yes, they're injured, but the biggest reason is because uh, General Scales and his army have actually come here and caused a bunch of damage, and they're all weak and injured fighting back, you know? Alright, so this is a Dumbledang pod. These actually only heal you half health. Uh, so they're half as effective as the other ones, you know, the Pug Pug eggs. Okay, let's see. Now I, yeah, so now this thing actually, okay, I'm gonna show you something. If you actually hold the A button, no, how, how did that work, man? There's a thing like if you hold the A button for a little too long or like press it, I don't remember how it worked, then your character will actually pick it up and throw it automatically, which is so freaking annoying. And that happened so much back when I played this game all the time, like years ago. Like it was crazy. Okay, I just burned myself. Okay, now here's another thing. Um, it's just a bunch of picking up these fuel barrels for now. This time we can just, if you don't move and press A, your character will actually put it down instead of uh, throwing it. Now we're gonna get taken into, I believe, another cutscene here. Keo Krisoa, Doot Uwe Kutsak, Keo Uhu Dootwo. Yosh Ak Uwe Keo Krot Keo Tashkup Shoduk. Neo No Noho Ukusbat, I Shodukat Fo Kutsak. No Noho Mucha Shot. Kill King Earthwalker shot its game. He cast Kiaj Shushat Fusuzo. Could see Mo if Kill Krizoa. Kill Krizoa, Oho Fuso Fahaks. Then Ovik Road Mo, Kill Grado Kavo K, Okuda. Naki Kill Fahaks. A Kudok Ash 2. Ash could so demoker at so te. Mo wack. At Kokio Fiho if could suk. Sud Kubo Keo Gashk. Ud Kokio Krasoa Shrine. Et so Ash 2. Sev Koko Kip Fahak Koch. Unuak Ue Hunut Av Ue Jesut Kiot Hokit Kemo Am Dek Huitwu Utun Kotso. Okay, so we just got a lot of a uh, story bit right there. Uh, actually, a good amount of important things here. So we're going to be warping into, um, I guess, part of the shrine. Um, and part of the premise of this game that you'll find out eventually is that, you know, there's all these Krizoa spirits. I believe there's six of them. And you have to, um, find them all because it's actually a part of, um, the planet and what's actually happening, um, in regard to the, uh, 
um, I guess an issue with the planet, which eventually once we once we become Fox, um, we'll learn a little bit more about that. But I'll just tell that right now. Krizo Shrine, and within lies the Krizo Spirit. The spirits have been hidden, and okay, cool. There are six, so this shrine will lead you to one. Um, all you really have to do here in these things is just complete the puzzles. Uh, generally speaking, there's like maybe two to three rooms, and then eventually the uh, challenge room. That's how these things work. Uh, luckily, because this is the first one, it's pretty damn easy. I will tell you though that oh my god, man, one of the I don't even want to think about it right now. That's so it's such bullshit. Okay, one of the um, where's the thing? Oh, over there. Okay, I just ran into that thing like a freaking idiot. Yeah. So one of the things, one of the challenges, I should say, of um, of uh, one of these puzzles, I guess, is I think it's like the test of fear or something. And oh my god, that thing is a. That thing is just a bunch of bullshit, just left and right. Like, it seriously is. Like, I can't even tell you right now. That, that's crazy. I don't even want to think about it. But I'm going to dread that part of this game so much, even though I love so many other parts of the game. But I'm just... Okay. No! I... Really? I didn't move. Crystal was not moving. Yeah, you actually got to wait for like a second. Just because you're like that? No. You, you actually got to wait, you know? Um, and also, you, you got to make sure that you're actually on top of the freaking Switch. Like, seriously. Like, right there. See, that works. Okay, I'm just gonna... Technically speaking, I could just tank the hits and go all the way, but why, you know? I can just wait a second, you know? Alright, what's up? What's up, Krizoa Spirit? I can't believe I just talked to Krizoa Spirit like that. Okay, test one is a test of observation. Watch closely where I hide, okay? It's actually pretty easy. You just gotta do it three times in a row, and you win. So just watch where the Krizol Spirit is. Okay, so it's right there. Oh my god, my freaking eye is stinging right now. This is the worst time ever. Okay, this is really easy. This is so easy. Again, it's the first one. There we go. So that's one. Number two. Bottom right. Top middle. two and now one more so that's in the top right I'm just going to shut up and pay attention and that's it I told you it's really easy it's the first one so it makes a lot of sense for it to be particularly easy right But yeah, um, I really can't wait until, you know, this game starts to pick up a little bit. I know it's just been a bunch of weird stuff here, but um, in just a little bit, we're going to get introduced to Fox, actually. So you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. And there we go. You did it. You collected the first Krizoa spirit. So now we just got to take it back um, to a place that's kind of like a drop-off zone for the spirit, which this Earthwalker, I believe, will tell us in just a little bit. Alright, let's do this. Kill Kyo <laughs> So we're just going to take this elevator, which is basically the slowest elevator in the world, but okay. We're almost done with the crystal segment, by the way. Generally, it takes people like half an hour, although I'm kind of rushing this a little fast, so we're almost done. That's like, what, 20 minutes or so? And it's, it was like maybe two minutes of intro stuff, you know, before I actually played the actual game, press play, you know?
Hmm, so who was that person or that character that, in a way, indirectly or maybe directly pushed her into that stream of energy or whatever? I don't know, but more cutscenes. Okay, so first of all, this music is a nice little remix from the um, uh, Star Fox 64, um, but there's actually a lot of different parts, as you can see, that are basically split away from the planet, but right now the only thing we can actually do is select the, um, the Great Fox to actually go in the big planet itself. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we just gotta find the Queen of the Earthwalker, or the Queen Earthwalker, whatever. The Earthwalker is a tribe. Anyway, to actually get through to the planet or different sections when flying back and forth, you actually have to collect rings. Um, okay, wait a minute. What the heck? Why is this? That's weird. The controls for this are actually fine, whereas the controls for the other thing with the crystal segment were not fine. That's so weird. Like, if you press... Okay, I don't understand this. It's almost like they were confused themselves, you know? Anyway. Um, yeah, you just gotta collect the gold rings. Um, if you collect one gold ring, you actually already break the force field down. If you don't collect enough rings, you have to do the flying segment over again. Um, but again, this is basically the iconic uh, gameplay of Star Fox, just the R-wing part, or R-wing portion. Uh, however, obviously that's not gonna be the case in this game, because Star Fox Adventures, as I was saying, is actually very different. There's very few times when you actually use the R-wing to fly from planet to planet, uh, but, you know, the other thing, you actually can't charge, which is very interesting because the charging mechanic is one thing that's very uh, iconic of the R-Wing segments of Star Fox, but you cannot charge in this game. Alright, well, I actually got all 10, as you can see. Um, again, it's really easy right now, but eventually when you fly to other parts, you gotta fly through, like, I think three eventually, then five, then seven, then nine, I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. One, three, five, seven, and I think after the last one, it's, I forget what it's called. Something rock. Like the last world of the game. And you have to fly through a nine out of ten. And and also, the actual flying segment is much harder, by the way. I should emphasize that. It really is. So that's when it becomes more challenging. This game actually has a ridiculously hard um, difficulty curve and spike. In the beginning, it's so pathetically easy. In the end, oh my god, is it crazy. Very funny, sir. I know. Now, on to business. By pressing the start button, you will open your communicator. Choose who you wish to speak to, and then press the A button to contact one of us. Each team member will give you different information. It's not being tested in action, so give it a try as soon as I finish. And don't forget, you're looking for the Queen Earthwalker. Try talking to those Thorntail guys. Flippy is preparing a translator device, but until it's 
ready, he'll translate for you. Okay, General. But what about a weapon? Why couldn't I bring my blaster? It's always the same with you, Fox. Shoot first, ask questions later. This mission is about saving the planet, not blowing it up. It requires a different tactic. Try using your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny, sir. Fox out. Okay. So, we finally get introduced to the core gameplay of the game. And that's this, moving around with Fox. Um... And it's definitely a very uh, nice twist to the Star Fox series, again, like I was saying. Uh, it's definitely not a game that was meant or built for everyone, and I'll tell you about that later. Uh, but anyway, the first thing you actually want to do here is grab this staff. Hmm, interesting cutscene there. Okay, so yes, we have the staff now, which enables us to fight. Now, it might actually seem pretty, uh, like, wait, how do I, how do I, um, wait, oh, no, that's off, my bad, I don't want to do that. How the hell do I, like, look around? No, that's not the button. Oh yeah, so that's actually a shield by pressing R. Oh, it's Z, it's Z. Z is how you do it. Um, yeah, it might look like there's a lot to do, but it's actually quite linear. The only thing you can really do right now is come over here. To take on... Oh, man. We got some dinosaurs. Okay. Anyway, combat here is actually fairly uh, simplistic, I want to say. Um, all you want to do... Like, the game actually automatically targets... Um, any one, like, sharp claw at a time. And all you really want to do is, um, keep mashing the Ableton to do combos. If you do a lot of combos, you'll actually be able to, um, okay, wait for that. And then attack. You can also do kicks, or really whatever the hell else you can do. There's actually three different versions, so if you do forward, he does, like, the slow motion jump, like that. If you go neutral, he does the kick combination. Um, but if you actually move back on the stick, I'll actually show that next time. He does like a weird combination of... I'll tell you later. So we have to go to the... Oh, look at this. Look at that yay thing again. The first time you ever pick up anything in the game, it will show you this. You picked up a staff energy gem. They come in many different values and yeah, okay. So they basically give you um, energy, as you can see. Um, for example, this one over here, that's red. That one gives you a little bit more. I believe green give you the least amount. Um, and then yeah, it just kind of goes from there. Uh, one thing I will do though is go to these boulders. These boulders here, if you actually approach them from the right angle, I believe, yeah. You can just simply keep mashing the Ableton with your staff and stuff come out of the thing. Out of the So these are scarabs. Scarabs are actually the currency of Star Fox Adventures, believe it or not. Um, where did the other ones go? Did that cutscene just screw me over? I think it did. Whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, reds are five, which I actually got pretty lucky with that right there because usually they come in greens. Um, but there's a few more rocks like over here, I think, I'm pretty sure. No, that one's, that one's far too big, I'm pretty sure. Let's go to this one. Yeah, you just gotta find, like, the right area of the boulder. Usually it's ended by, like, green stuff. What the heck? Um, so, right now we can actually only carry 10 scares, believe it or not, which is quite weird. It's so little, but... Oh, well. Bomb support plant. Okay. Gotta find a way to make these explode, yeah. Um, so I know how to do that, but I can't do it by attacking it like that. There's actually a different method. Which I will get to in just a little bit. 
So obviously we have to come over here, you know, the one place where we were told to go, which is going to be this way. Yeah, watch out for those fungus things because they actually do hit you. All I want to do here is do that and jump in. Okay, so what could this be? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Is that what's so much of water in there? Okay. Hmm. Well, I can just jump. Let's press the A button here to actually get ourselves our first staff power up. Which is uh, going to be the one that we actually use the most in the game by far. The Fire Blaster. Okay. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, you can always uh, assign one of your abilities to the Y button. Um, and it's really up to you on what the hell you want to do. So all you want to do here is press the C. Find your right thing. So not, not that. That's Give Scarab. Yellows are abilities. Blue is... Uh, tricky, which actually comes later, and then that's your backpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, press Y, and now every time I actually press the Y button, this comes up. Yeah, so the problem is that, oh god, this fucking inversion is gonna be at the end of my life, man. Seriously, I'm gonna have to get used to it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go through here, and this is actually a perfect time to end the video because as you can kind of see, well, I'm up there in about 30 minutes. I'm going to keep these videos at around 30 minutes like I typically do for like any series. But in the next episode, I am actually going to go over there in a lot. Oh, and these stupid things are so annoying, man. Yeah, I killed them both. But they hit me. Alright, so I'm going to open that next time. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.